Good morning, this is El Moro Pigeon Show. I'm your host, El Moro. And I've chosen a lot of my birds the, that the uh, feathers are fully grown. And I, I just go and release them from like five miles. Uh, I don't do that long driving. However, I got this friend of mine, he raises birds, and I give him four of my birds, and they have come back from 250 miles. So, these guys right here, uh, I got maybe about 20 there, 20 there, about maybe 12 there, something like that, maybe more. And uh, I just gonna go and take him from uh, five miles. There are some, a few youngsters here that man they're, they're like they, this guy's feel my hand okay this guy's got muscles on top of muscles and uh but these youngsters a lot of these youngsters i never let them go from anywhere uh because uh, uh because of the they, they were molting so this is actually one of the last youngsters that i haven't let go from anywhere i got i got some here some youngsters, they're big and all that, but these guys, I still haven't let them go because uh, they, they're, they're, uh, their wings are not fully grown. They love fly, these guys. They love fly, but a lot of them, uh, they're not fully grown. That guy there is limping, he hit his leg. So I'm not gonna let him go. He's one of my breeders right there, this guy right there, right there. It's a beautiful bird, see him? But anyway, uh, a lot of these guys, all the youngsters from this year, they're for sale. So you guys give me a call, okay? These are good birds. These are really good birds. I'm telling you, these guys fight as high as a tippler, man. And I, and I have it on videos to prove it. Okay, so let me get ready here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and turn it on when I'm about to release it. So like I said, guys, I'm here, beautiful Florida, and uh, this is the pigeon capital of the United States. So I'm releasing my birds from, I think it's five miles, and as as you know in Florida, you know, there's alligators, there's snakes, no trespassing, blah, blah, blah. That's, uh, that's all over Florida, you know. Uh, th this is how you know if there's alligators in the water. Uh, you go, you touch the water with your hands. If it feels wet, there's alligators there. Okay, so uh, these birds right here, guys, they are so strong. I got birds over here. Uh, this is all long distance, long distance. Uh, I gave my friend that raises birds. They have come back from 250 miles, okay? Uh, I don't release far away because I really don't want to be driving a hundred miles, then coming back, and then, you know, all, all that stuff. It's, it's too much, too much, okay? So I'm giving them the time to get adjusted. And these birds are for sale. Not all of them, but the youngsters. I have youngsters here that I have never let go from anywhere, okay? Uh, I, I See, I have a lot of youngsters this year. So what I do is little by little, I let them go. A lot of them are molting. So these guys finish molting. So I'm going to give them from, from, uh, for the first time, five miles. And, uh, I ha but I have a lot of breeders there, a lot of older birds there. They have, they are, they are veterans. They are experienced birds. So they should be okay. They should be all right. And if you guys want to buy some of these birds, you can call at, 9412490822 okay uh, a lot of these guys uh, they selling i mean i'm i'm not here to bad mouth anyone but it is what it is you can go online and you can see beautiful white birds for sale and this website they're like a hundred dollars a piece you can ask my friend abraham but then they don't show them to you flying you know what i'm saying uh these guys right here man they are proven i i got witnesses after witnesses 250 miles uh these are long distance birds okay they can do 380 easy all right 
Now, I don't release. I use this for weddings. So if you need it for weddings and for funerals and for bat misfals and bar misfals and uh, inaugurations, stuff like that, these are your perfect birds right here. Uh, I sell these birds only to a good loft, a good home, guys. Uh, that's why I got so many because I'm very picky who I sell my birds to, okay? And we're about to release them right now. And I am here with my beautiful wife. And she's going to tell you something about these birds. And she's going to release them themselves. Hey, guys. My name is Yaya Herself. Diamond. And I am Amoro's wife. You know, I've seen him do these birds for so many years. He has so many amazing ways to make sure that the birds are healthy and vibrant and strong and so he gives vitamins every day he's cleaning almost every day he's changing water he's putting vinegar and all kinds of stuff in the water it's just an amazing thing of what he does to make sure that his birds are well taken care of and that's what we're going to be doing today not only is it important that you feed them the proper diet that you give them the proper nutrition but you also have to exercise them Obviously, he doesn't want to go 100 miles out, but six miles is great because they have the area to go through, especially when it's clear skies and everything is a great, you know, just a great moment to just release them and make sure that they are healthy and alive and vibrant. So if you have a wedding, if you have a funeral, if you have a, a, an event that you want to actually display some birds and have birds released, just make sure that we're two hours before sunset because they can't fly in the dark, okay? So we want to make sure that if you are interested in hiring us or my husband to actually release those birds at your event you need to give him a call his number is 941-249-0822 that's 941-249-0822 and i want to add i only do 50 mile radius that's right only 50 miles out anyone outside of that we can probably refer you to another loft that's closer because there's a lot of hawks and predators out there and we don't want to subject them too much to those elements. So with, with that said, further, let's go ahead and release the birds. <laughs> ready? Are you ready? And now the other one. <laughs> These are all cocks, guys. These are all cocks. I gotta hurry up because they will get home really fast. These birds are uh, 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 no noticeable for getting. For, I'm sorry, <laughs> for getting very high. They, I don't know, I, I couldn't find the word, but they get so high. Look, uh, that's all I want to say. These this birds get high. <laughs> get high right? These birds get high. Altitude. Altitude. Altitude, not high like high, you know what I'm saying? These birds get high. Look at them, look at them. I don't know if you can see them there because the sun is in my face. So it's very hard to see. But they're having fun right now, man. It's a beautiful, beautiful weather. There is no clouds. It's a beautiful weather. Look at this. No clouds. Look at this. Yeah, they're standing together. I gotta go because they're gonna get to my house so fast. It's a long distance white sky again. Okay, so I will film it when they get back to the house. Okay, and turning it off right now. <laughs> there is one bird. There's one bird, he came he came so high. This guy won. This guy beat everybody. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh my gosh. He broke away. He beat everybody. Let me open. Where is he? There he is. Oh, let me open this for them. Yeah, he's flying around here. Where are the other ones? I don't know. <laughs> there he is. 
But he came in so high. This guy came in so high. Oh, there. Oh, my gosh. There they go. <laughs> Where these guys come from? They came from all, all the direction. So I got four birds there. I got four birds. Came back quick, man. I just got here. But I, I have to bring my... Uh, Okay, I'm gonna have to turn this off because I, I got I, I left everything in the front. <laughs> there they go, one, two, three, four. Okay, I gotta go pick up this stuff in the front, man. Okay, there's a lot of them. They're coming down, they're coming down. <laughs> It's weird, man. I let them go from there. They're coming back from here. See, these are long distance birds. They like, they love to, uh, look at that one. Look at that one, how high. They, they love to fly. That's why you cannot raise a long distance bird for, <laughs> for shorter, you know, shorter races. They, they put their batteries on after like uh, 300 and something miles. Then, then they put the batteries on. But these guys, you let them go, and they just like to just fly around. You know, there they go. They like to fly around. These are, these are my cocks right here. There's another one there. Yeah, straight to the loft. There you go. Yeah, I still got more. I still got more. Oh, look, look, there's more over there, look. <laughs> yeah, because I let out like 30-something. Look, there's more over there. Look at these guys. Look at them. They're coming pretty high. Look at them. <laughs> oh, look, look, there's more. Oh, my gosh. That, that's good that they come apart like that. That means they, they, they know. They don't rely on the group, on the flock to come down. You know? Uh, where'd it go? There they go. It's a beautiful day for flying birds. Blue sky. Blue sky. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He just came in. Look at that guy up there. They just came in. <laughs> Look how high he's coming down now. Oh, man. This is, I love this. <laughs> I'm gonna start tossing them for a little farther and farther and farther, you know? There they go. There they go. Those two, they, these birds are so muscular, man. They're so big. Look at that guy. You get them in your hand, you can hardly fit them in your hand. And these are homers. This this not I'm no king in them, man. It's, the, the, the mix here is Del Bar, Trenton, Sion, Sticklebout, uh, Jensen. Did I say Jensen already? Yeah, Del Bar, Jensen, Sticklebout, Boston. That, that's, that's the whole, uh, uh, this is from uh, the line of Jack Berkeley. Look at this. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look, 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 look. Yeah. I think just about everybody's here. Yeah, I think just about everybody's here. You know, these are the perfect birds, guys. If you want some, to get babies out of them, and even to fly them. Uh, uh, the birds that I sell them, you can fly them. All you have to do is um, get some babies out of them first. You can fly them, okay? Because... Uh, the homing pigeon really calls home where they first have babies for the most part you know and they haven't got no babies here now my breeders uh, are another different ball game my breeders you take them uh and even though if you get babies they they're gonna look for the house and if you are there in minnesota or something they probably get lost get in by hog and eagle or something like that but they're gonna go they, they're gonna look for the house. They're gonna try to come back. 
because this is where they first have babies, you know? Yeah, I only release the ones that had the full, all the full feathers, everything, you know? Uh, the other ones over there on the side, when everybody comes in, I'm gonna release the other ones on the side. Because those, the guide feathers is not fully out. They can fly over here in the loft, but I don't, I don't trust letting them go from far away. I just, uh, you know, they really have to maneuver because of a hawk or something. That's not fair for them. They don't, they're not dealing with the full deck, you know, with the full uh, uh, wings, you know. So, um, I just don't, I just don't release them, you know. But now the next one to release is the hands. The hands, they're gonna go a little farther. I go little by little, man, because I really, I, I really don't like go far. You know, because it's, it's time consuming, first of all. You know, it's time consuming. And I have to clean the loft over here, I have to do a lot of stuff. And, and it's money, the gas, you know? So, yeah. There you have it. Okay, they all came back. They all here. There's somebody. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh. Let me see if he goes straight to the loft. Ooh, nice. Straight to the loft. <laughs> I love these birds, man. You know, it's... That's why when I sell these birds, I, I ask a lot of questions. Some people hang up on me. I don't care, man. I ask questions. Do you have a loft? How long you been having pigeons? Uh, do you have a job? <laughs> do you rent or you or have your own home? Because a lot of times I have experienced that when people rent, all of a sudden they have to move. All of a sudden the landlord said, no, you cannot have the bird, you know? And, and uh, no, nah. I I want to give my birds to a good home, somebody stable. I mean, anything can happen to anybody, man. You know, anything can happen at any given time. But you know, it, it, it makes it makes me feel better if I know that they're going to to somebody that really care about the birds. They already have birds, you know, and and I see their loft. I see how they take care of the birds because these, these birds are healthy. Oh, glory to Yahuwah, the Most High. I take care of these birds, man. I give them all kinds of supplements all the time, you know? And, and that's what I want to see, that, that they will get the same treatment, man. Do you get these cocks in your hand? They, they, can hardly, they can hardly fit in your hand. They're so muscular, man. You know? It's not that they're big, like, in size. They're just wide. <laughs> you know? I, I, was, I, I never really touched them. So I was getting them today to put them in the cage. I'm like, gosh, you know, like like people say in Arkansas. I was saying, golly, <laughs> you know, these guys, man, these guys are thick, you know, and they get back like nothing. All right, guys. Okay, so hey, you know, you give me a call if you really are interested in some of these birds. The number is uh, 941-249-0822, okay? And, hey, you know what I always say. Love your pigeons, take care of your pigeons, and have a blessed day.